I'm not sure how I fit it all in either, actually. And I want to share with you tonight uh, the 20 things that I love most that are green and creative. And I want to start, when the first slide comes up, by acknowledging country. Um, it's with great respect that I walk this land and I really want to honour Beth Hand, who I love dearly, and honour her creativity and her caring for the country close to where I live and the bunny dreaming. Um, my partner and I entered the creative challenge this year and this is our, that was our labyrinth made out of bunya bits. I love permaculture. It's been my life for 28 years. I love that it uses design principles based on nature um, that helps us do what's really right for the planet and helps people survive. Um, this is my garden. I love it. This is um, the newest part of my garden. Um, using patterns and shapes and symbols rather than the straight lines of um, yeah, more modern agriculture. Um, I love that we get to grow our own food. Um, I love to play in the garden as well and create baskets and sculptures and weaving and things from the fibres from the garden like um, banana fibres and pica bean palm bits and yeah I love the sacredness that um, is woven in amongst the garden. I love healthy food and the creativity that um, food and picking food out of the garden inspires. Um, I love the creativity of um, flavours that um, can combine together and that especially my son's called us to use lots of tropical and Thai spices and mum can we grow more of them? I love that um, bamboo inspires creativity. Um, it's not a natural plant but um, grow quite a lot of it at my place and I love some of the things we've been able to create, buildings and um, a woofer recently created these beautiful chess pieces um, for the village at Crystal Waters. I love um, biological buildings and natural architecture. This is Jane's place at Crystal Waters. She's got a sod roof and I love the creativity and the context of being able to mow one's roof. I find that really cool. Um, I love living at Crystal Waters. I've been there for 24 years. I love the creativity that we bring to building and growing a community together. That we have markets there once a month. That we live in amongst so many birds and animals that it blows me away. Um, and walk as gently as we can on the earth. I love my local town, Mullaney. Um, the creative structures like co-ops that help us find another way to be and play and work in the world. And I love that we came together, 80% of my town, to try and stop Woolworths coming to town. And some of the creative processes, like even the platypus got arrested. <laughs> I love my son, um, who's just done a beautiful thing. He fundraised to go to Bali for a month to be able to do a Zen Tai Shiatsu retreat and his creativity um, to do that, raffling himself for a day, was pretty inspiring. <laughs> I love that he chose not to go to high school and asked me to support him to home educate and that through that he's got to do amazing things like travel with his uncle Wurunga to the Kimberley and spend three months on a permaculture project and learning to make his own baskets and things like that. I love my work and that um, my dynamic groups, courses and creative facilitation supports people who work for change, who work for the environment, to help their groups work much more effectively and help their message be much more effective in the world for a better world. I love that I've been able to share what I've learnt and what I do in the form of products, writing books and CDs and even um, weaving the permaculture principles into my store by using elevational planning and relative location and things like that. I love the chai tent that my friends and I do at Woodford. We've even woven permaculture principles into that, creating a safe space for people to be, lots of comfort. 
And I love it so much that I can let go of it. We're not going to do it this year. So any of you that go to Woodford, um, my apologies. Um, I love Jambezi, the band that I'm part of, and that most of us are greenies. And um, we get to share um, all sorts of things when we rehearse. Our instruments are made out of wood um, and bits of recycled material. And we sometimes do fundraisers and community music events. Um, I love ceremony and ritual and all the many manifestations of that and the opportunities through things like the joining and being woman to um, be creative, be in nature, help people connect more to themselves, to the earth and to country. I love my beautiful man, Mark. He's the most creative green man I know. Um, yeah, I love that he supports me in my work and that together we're able to um, yeah, work together, starting to teach um, permaculture together and support people in their relating so that people are more able to work for the planet. I love that together we've been able to create something we're calling the Love Feast that um, immerses people in nature, in symbols, in sharing really deeply and connecting and communicating. Because if we can communicate in our, our home and our family, we're more able to be supportive in the world. I love labyrinths. This is something I've loved a long time and I've manifested a man who makes them and is right into them. And this one here, Tamsin had on her slide before we made it Crystal Waters in a workshop a couple of weekends ago. I love the sacredness and the journey to the heart and to the centre. And this last slide, how could anything be more creative than nature herself? This beautiful angel in the sky popped its head over the ridge as we were all doing a pep day at Crystal Waters one day, permaculture energy party. The most creative being of all. Thanks so much, Robin. That truly was a sharing of green love. It was beautiful. Um, and I loved the connectedness of that because not only were there connections to Tamsin's presentation, but there's also a connection to our next presenter, 